Welcome in and welcome back. Um, I just want to, maybe a quick video, maybe not, I'm not sure, I haven't planned out what I'm going to say here, but it is, um, it is stupendous how often there is a sip of serendipity from the punch bowl of life, I think. And recently, obviously, you know that I haven't been uploading too much here, um, sort of I've been in a weird place but sort of uh, recently I, I, I was screwed into working 12 consecutive days we've all been there right um, somebody calls in your two days off so you have to work those two days and your entire work week um, which leads into your next entire work week but um, sorry about that one of my favorite youtubers Casey Burns investing which I, I implore you to go check him out uh, and if you do, tell him I sent you because uh, he seems like a pretty cool guy. But uh, he made a video about something that has been on my mind lately as well. And um, <clears throat> he was talking about people that he worked with having traumatic events and then sort of realizing that, you know, half of your waking hours you spend at your, your, your job. And I use that word on purpose. I use that word with a purpose uh, because of the point that I'm going to make here. Um, and they are, you know, the middle-aged people that he worked with had traumatic events in their lives, health scares in their lives. And all of a sudden, everything's put back into focus. What are you doing with half of your life? What are you doing with half of your life? Half of your waking hours at your job what are you doing with them um and that's something i struggle with sometimes right uh, especially on the heels of working 12 consecutive days um but you have to go you have to go that's your job that is your job it is how you earn your living that is how you pay the bills it is your job and even i think i've called in I think I've called in one time since GW was in office. I think I've called in one time since 2004, maybe 2003. Um, maybe I'm forgetting something, I, 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 but I don't think so. Um, I don't call into work. I go to work. I go to my job. I go to my job. I pay my bills. No matter where I'm at with how I feel about my work. I work retail, right? Not a lot of redeeming qualities there. I am, I am a cog in the ever-turning um, wave of consumerism. That's what I do. I, I put things on shelves. I ring people up. I uh, quote unquote manage. Um, but I go to work. I go to my job. See, I keep slipping. But I think there's a difference between your work and your job. Your job and your work. And that's what has been troubling me lately, is that I have fallen off drastically in what I consider my work. I consider my writing my work. I consider my channels my work. I consider those things to be the... the Legacy is too hoity-toity a word. I, I don't want it to sound that way. But... Um, I consider it my work, what I want to be doing, the, the real cognitive, the real cognitive work of my life, right? I, I can't think of a better way to put it right now. Um, I, I apologize, I just got my workout in, so um, I am not in, whoa, when did that happen? Um been throwing too many late night parties in my truck, I guess. So there's a difference between your job and your work. And I always go to my job. When I'm in the throes of being in that bad place, I wake up and I go to my job. But I will skirt out on my work. And the only thing that's ever really worked for me 
is the old phrase, you have to fight fire with fire. And I liken being in that bad place to my world being on fire. That's how it feels. My world is on fire. Everything is burning down as I fog up the windows in here. And um, you have to fight fire with fire, right? The only thing that's ever worked for me is to fight fire with fire. <clears throat> when my world is on fire, I have to light one of my own. And I have to go to work, not just my job. <sighs> yeah, I think that's where I'm at.